Congratulations! Actually, I heard you just about to publish your app on the Oculus Store. That's really cool. I went through the same checkpoints, used some tools, and I was just not able to get over their entitlement check. It took me a couple of days to figure it out. Well, since you're here to watch this video, I'm gonna make your life easier just to show you exactly how to do it. So first, I will actually just go through with you like how we actually create an app on Oculus website. So I will just click on the developers link and click the company name and then click create a new app. And I will just choose Oculus Rift. I will choose a name, which is a YouTube tutorial. Save and continue. Now we got two informations we really need for our entitlement check. The first one is app ID. So you should use your own and also it's app secret. This is another number we need to use for testing on Oculus. Of course, I hopefully have this SDK integrated. Download the Unity SDK. Just got the integration. Just download it from the Unity Asset Store. So of course, I will create a new Unity project. After the download is finished, I click import. Hopefully you have done that as well. I import everything because we actually need to use a tool that's included in this package to upload our app. Actually, I find the Oculus official code works just like a charm, but the difficulties was actually to find exactly the right code. So here is the URL and I will share it uh, at the link down below. And this is exactly the code I'm using. We can totally make a modification of it. The whole point is the Oculus want us to check this entitlement, make sure the user has access to this game or not. And since I mentioned we need to use the tool they have. So I'm going to go to Unity. I would just, for the simplicity of it, I would just paste the exact same code. Here's my code. So basically, I just copied exactly what they told me to do. And if the entitlement check is complete, if it's not an error, I will get a pass. If it's an error, I will get an error message in my console. Let's go back to Unity here. I will just attach the script on the camera. I know it's not the best way, but let's get it going. And let's save the scene. And then we go to the Oculus, click Platform, click Edit Settings. You will see it is actually looking for a Oculus Rift ID. Here is my app ID. I will copy it to Unity, go to here. And since I have done this before on this computer, it's already saved my authentication. Just remember to log in with the account you registered it with. And the user has to be a developer or the account owner of this project and you should click login or else you're not logged in. So now my credential is working. And let's see, let's click play. I will see my log. I passed. See, I passed. So that's pretty straightforward. And let's go to the website. We can also add other members. We can manage the team. You can do members under the settings and we can actually filter by their ID name. So we can create different admins, we can create different developers, and we can add different test users. And once they have it, and we upload your app to Oculus, then you will be getting an update for this applications. So I will show you the update. But again, we want to show a little bit more message so we can debug it because once we upload the build, it's really hard to see like what's actually happened. So here is in my code. I will just do an own GUI. I will add a boolean. Member variable passed. So if I'm passed, 
the own GUI will trace the message. I know I'm just copied their tutorials, but it doesn't matter. You know, I actually just want to get straight to the point. And passed, right? Now I am passed. I see a button here, right? The button doesn't do anything, but here we go. Now I'm back to your PC. Of course, we need to make a build. There are a couple of things I want you to notice. The first one is in the resource folder. There is the Oculus platform settings because my bad, I did not upload it to my cloud build. So I actually had some credential problems. This is actually just keeps track of our ID. Right now for the Oculus, it only check this Oculus platform settings. If you don't have it, you will run into problems. I just click file, build settings, clear settings, make sure you know virtual reality checked. Company, I will just say Macy, right? Entitlement, and then just build, I will build it to the YouTube folder. Select this folder. You will just be making the build. So now we are here still back at the entitlement check page. There is a Oculus platform command line utility. It's very useful for us to actually just upload our applications directly from our computer directly to the store. So let's go back here. Here exactly telling us what we need to upload. So we need to get the app ID and app secret token, which is the one I showed you at uh, the developer website. Another thing is they're actually missing a few lines. I will show you how to actually properly upload it. Now I'm at the command line tool. I just entered this download folder by just pressing CD and enter to this folder. And here is the exact command line I used. You can refer that to the Oculus website. And there are two things I did not mention is after we type that long line, we should type alpha, alpha channel. If you want to go to beta channel, type beta. And version, I gave it as 0.1. Let's just press enter. And now we're going to go through the upload process. Apparently, they don't even like me including the OpenVR SDK. But well, you know what? Let's see. Um, after the upload is done, like so, now it takes a couple minutes for them to process in your app. Then you will see it in your Oculus app. If we want to add more users to our test build, just go to the manage builds under your app. And here you can actually click these little dots and click manage users and just type their email address and here I sent myself a pending request. What they will get is an email on Oculus. They will say you need to actually accept the offer and you should click the link to accept the offer. Now you actually can have the app review in your Oculus store. After about like five minutes, my actually YouTube tutorial app is finished processing. Now it shows available in my apps. If you cannot find it, you can even just search it. It will show as you purchased this app. I will just click install. It's really quick because it's a very small app. And then we will launch this tutorial. You can see here, I'm actually past my entitlement check. I hope you get the same screen and congrats to that. Did you get it working? I would love to see your game. Please post the link down there. I would love to check out what you have published. And see you next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Please click the subscribe button. And this will actually help me so much. And also, it's kind of a bookmark for you. You can find me easily. And for me, just by having a bigger subscriber base, I will actually get access to the YouTube studio, which will give me a better space to film my videos and to make